Hey Scorpio, how's it going? Um, we're gonna go ahead and hop into your reading. Please subscribe to the channel. Give the reading a like if it helps. And um, if you wanna continue watching this, uh, then you can click the link in the description, top of the comments for Vimeo. And that's your extended reading. That's where we find out more about what happens next. <clears throat> Excuse me, what happens next. Mm. Excuse me, Scorpio. Um, and <clears throat> outcomes I see in advice for, for you moving forward, okay? I'm just pulling the cards already. Hope you can see everything okay. I'm using that light projector I use. I usually use for the readings. I thought it might be cool to have it on the cards. Just something different. Sip my drink. So first, how your person is showing up is the sea serpent and how you show up is the snake right now, or how they see you, I'm sorry. How they see you. <clears throat> well, if you look, um, your person, mm, this mature man may be your person here, Scorpio. That's, that's what I'm getting, especially with the sea serpent. Um, this person feels like you have a lot of like untapped potential here or the connection with you two. <clears throat> There's a lot of untapped potential with you showing up as a snake. I hope you can see the mature man, okay. Um, God, I hate that glare. We'll put him up there, okay. Um, but yeah, it, this is actually your card. Whenever I see Sea Serpent, I'm gonna have to put you down here, sir. Whenever I see Sea Serpent, um, I view that as your energy. Um, it's it's root chakra energy. I feel like, okay, something Scorpio, I feel like this person's really turned on by you. Whoever this is, I'm not gonna go like too much into detail on that, but I just feel like they're really turned on by you. And you're like, it's funny how this comes up, right? Sometimes when I'm busy, I pause to think of you and it's like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> like I see this person, they have a difficult time especially if you've been intimate with who this is, they have a difficult time not thinking about, you know, intimacy with you. And it's not just that. <clears throat> because it's it, the, the sea serpent, it's a little, it's different than that. Um, it's deeper than that. There's a lot, um, there's a lot that I'm picking up right now. 
And then you have confession. Someone has something to tell you or has to tell you something. Um, I just heard that song. <laughs> um, what's that song? When she says, at night, I think of you. Um, I don't know if this person has like seen I don't know if this person is from your past or present or what is going on, but whoever this is just seems really like turned on by you. And look right here. It says receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. I feel like this person, and I'm going to clarify these with the tarot, but it's almost like they, they feel so they receive what they need with you. Also here, like too, this person's older than you. It's like they like want to teach you things. Um, a lot. I don't know. For a lot of you, this could be like a older, and it, there's an age gap with the sea serpent and the snake. Um, yeah, and I kind of get like this person can't really get you they can't get you off their mind yeah clarify both <clears throat> Clarify boat for what's happening with Scorpio and their love interest. Page of Wands. There it is. The message. Yeah. Receiving what you need. So what's going on? Again, Page of Wands is one of my cards for curiosity and positive messages, good news. All right. So receiving what you need. And, you know, this could be you, Scorpio. It's a younger person. Um, yeah, this is really positive. So this person may have sent you, like, a positive message. You may have sent this person something really positive. And... Um, They're seeing all of this potential with you. You all may have, you know, physically met up. You know, you physically saw each other and now it's like this person cannot get you off their mind. They, they keep thinking about you, okay? You may have sent, like, sometimes I look at this, you may have sent this person a picture or they saw a picture of you. They, you sent them a picture Um, and I get like this mature man, this could be, this could be a, you know, man, woman, you know, but it doesn't have to necessarily be a man, but, um, whoever this is, I feel like they, they may have, um, a, a doctorate, am I saying that correctly? They have, you know, some sort of, um, they're very scholarly. I'll put it to you like that. Very intelligent. Um, well traveled with the globe. 
Sorry, I have to keep taking these sips. Clarify which word, man. What was happening with Scorpio? Any love interest right now? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this wanted to come out earlier. Um, oh, yeah, this definitely could be like a Capricorn for sure with the world here. Um, I feel like you make this person uh, feel like a kid again and they really like it. Okay. Now, they may be like uh, the reason why they're coming up with the sea serpent is they're conflicted about confessing everything to you. All right. Mm. Yeah, they're like a person of many words, many thoughts, but when it comes to you, they may get really shy. Tell me about confession here. What's happening with Scorpio and their love interest, please? The Four of Swords. Yeah, they're thinking about it. See? This is about meditation. This person dreams about you. <clears throat> For some of you, this person has to travel across water to get to you, all right? Something like that. Because I'm seeing sea serpent, and then you have boat, okay? They have all this information, and they want to, they want to express it to you, but... They're taking their time, right? Whoever this is is taking their time. They're not rushing anything. If this connection, right? Let's say you and this person are intimate or, you know, some of you could tell me, well, like, you know, we're friends with benefits or you know, you sense that this person does really, you know, have all these feelings, things like that, but they haven't expressed it. Um, they are, I think they just need to maybe, I don't know, find the right time or they want to see more of, of what you're about. They want to figure out like more about more of what the connection is about. Okay. And then you have sometimes when I'm busy, I pause to think of you and it's like a breath of fresh air. So th th those are the thoughts. Those are the messages. This person may send you messages like I'm thinking of you. Yeah, you have the two of cups. Behind that is the king of pentacles. So, oh, that's what I was saying. Mm. Okay, hold on, you have the hierophant. And the Three of Cups. What I was saying is, if you wonder if this person thinks about taking it to another level with you, they do. Clarify this for Scorpio. And the love interest, what's happening right now? Queen of Swords. Okay, behind that you have the Queen of Pentacles 
And up top, you have the King of Wands with Judgment. Whoever this is, is very like, a, they're a very serious person. And they may, or they may be like very serious as Libra energy. They may be very serious um, when it comes to everyone else. But what, I think when it comes to you, you, you soften this person up. Why do I feel like this is you? I feel like this is you there's a lot more I think Scorpio that you want to tell this person that, that's what I'm hearing yeah I feel like there's you're you think about them but for some reason you're holding back Okay, I, I do feel like this is you. I feel like you're thinking about them, but you're holding back because you may want to see, you may feel like they have something that they need to tell you. Okay? They have more that they need to tell you. You may also be very like skeptical for some reason. And you're choosing to operate differently with who this is right now. Okay. Queen of Swords would also be the Queen of Air. And it says, when I'm busy, I pause to think of you, it's like a breath of fresh air. I do think you're, you're that for this person. For a lot, of, I don't know, for a lot of you, I'm getting like you really miss who this is. Some of you are with this person and they had to travel or for some reason you just feel like this block or this barrier between you two. That's what I'm getting. All right. So give the reading a like. If it helped, if you liked it, I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more readings. I am going to be more frequent once I start feeling, you know, back to my normal self. And um, I'll start recording the regular way, but I'm doing the best I can right now. All right, here we go. Let's lay out the cards for what happens next. Person shows up. Person shows up. It's a cosmic egg. Scorpio showing up next. Peacock. A lot of you, this person is going through like a major like life change, life transition, okay? Yeah. You see some of you feeling more territorial over this person coming up next. Hmm. Let me ask one more time. Thanks for scoping me. Any other interest? Kisses. Show me what happens next. Oh, the lovers. 
the first time this this has come out. Lovers kisses. That's a six. That's harmony. That's balance being restored. You have unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love with the lovers coming up next. Patience. Just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. I find your inner wisdom. <laughs> this card, these cards have typos. I hate it. But I find your inner wisdom really attractive. Okay. That's what's going on next. All right. So, we have lovers and kisses. I'm doing this in case I use this for the thumbnail, y'all. No money. All right. With that being said, your extended link, we're not going to get into this. Your advice, outcomes between you two. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, so link below. For Vimeo. Description, top of the comments, and I'll see some of you over there. All right, Scorpio, love you guys. Good luck with everything. Peace.